Oh man, I'm feeling great. Uh, enjoying the process so far, and uh, just taking in the sights and uh, enjoying myself. Oh man, it's been great. I was only out there for about three days. Uh, so I had to go back to school and finish some finals and stuff. But man, uh, I loved uh, what they got, what those guys got going on. And uh, uh, you know, Chris Gaston is a great on the court guy, and uh, I've been with him for a while, so I enjoy his uh, workouts, and uh, they've got me better. Always been pretty skilled. Um, just getting used to the NBA line has been uh, an adjustment. But you know, uh, I'm going into the NBA looking to be a stretch four, so I'm gonna have to get used to being out there. So I'm taking it, uh, taking it for what it is, and uh, making sure I work hard on it. Uh, man, I think the ceiling is high. Uh, man, I'm just trying to make sure I maximize this uh, stretch four position. Uh, making sure I be able to knock down the three at a consistent rate, uh, being able to put the uh, ball on the ground, get to the rim, finish above the rim. Uh, with my athleticism and explosiveness, I think I'll be good at that. Uh, but I've really been focusing on knocking down those uh, those long NBA threes. Oh man, just working hard in those workouts, you know, uh, going at these dudes, you know, uh, making sure I play, play hard the whole time. Uh, using my strength to my ability, uh, I've put on a lot of muscle since I've been at Baylor. And uh, there's a lot of young guys who might not have had that long development time like I have. So I'm just going to make sure I use that to my advantage. Uh, my IQ, you know, uh, me being able to pass, and my versatility, uh, I think that's going to help me a lot. Well, I honestly don't know where my athleticism came from. My sister played ball, but she's more of a shooter uh, than an athlete. Um, I think it's just been my hard work. Uh, Coach Charlie back at Baylor done a great job with the explosive training. And uh, I think I've gained like three inches on my vertical, vertical since I've been at Baylor. So uh, just a test to his uh, workout plan and uh, just making sure I go through it and listen to him and uh, follow his plan. And, uh, and it's gotten me to where I am. And um, uh, other than that, I think uh, my physical tools just uh, I, would, I would say I've been pretty athletic, but not stronger. Uh, getting stronger has been a process at Baylor. I uh, came in at about 205. Now I'm sitting at about 240. Um, so the getting stronger part has been a process. I used to get pushed around back in the day, but now nah, these days I'm kind of pushing people around, so it's, it's a great feeling. But uh, yeah, I've always been pretty bouncy and uh, played above the rim, so. Uh, I think I'm average right now. Uh, definitely room for improvement. Uh, that's why I'm out here working on it. Uh, but I think, like I said, my ceiling's high. I think my forms are good. Um, just had some little minor things to tweak, like keeping my elbow in, finishing high. Uh, once I get those down, get that repetition down, muscle memory down, I think I can become a, a pretty good shooter uh, throughout my time in my NBA career. No, uh, the only thing that kind of set me back uh, was just the meniscus injury. I just wanted to see how that was going to heal up. But like as you see, I'm heal, healing great. Uh, I'm ahead of schedule, so I, I thought it was just the right time for me and my family to make the jump to the NBA. But uh, that was always the plan this year. Uh, go out and have a monster year, then uh, into the draft. So uh, the meniscus injury is healing up great. Knees, knee is good, uh, body's good getting my explosiveness back so it was a it was a given for me to just stay in the draft great stuff man thanks so much yes sir thank you